Hey everyone, this is Coach Aloha. I will be teaching you how to make finger lays. Very simple. These will be three finger finger lays, if that makes any sense. Some things that you will need is a workspace, some ribbon to tie, scissors, and some yarn. Just some simple housekeeping rules. I want to make sure everybody is in a good mindset and good energy when you're making lay because you're putting your energy into it and if you give it away you don't want to give bad energy away so just keep that in mind and let's get started again just a few things that you'll need ribbon scissors and yarn and we're gonna start you can either start from start with your yarn from the inner part of your yarn or you can take it from the outside if you do pull from the outside your yarn might be going all over the place so just keep that in mind so i feel like this is an easier way we can set these aside we won't need them yet and for starters you want to take a good few inches of your yarn and you can go through these first two fingers you're going to go through the other ones you're going to go back around and then you're going to end it off here and then you're gonna come with this one here up around. So let me show you again. So you're gonna start here, here, here. You're gonna end between these two. You're gonna take this one, you're gonna wrap around. That's all there is to it. And you can loop through your thumb to hold your yarn. And the first one is crucial. He's going to need it nice and even and loose. That's it. And I do recommend getting some of your yarn ready. And for consistent, nice, consistent, even loops when you're doing this, you're going to want to pull the back for each wrap. So you're going to do your wrap, you're going to go over, 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 that's it. You can pull this a little bit, there's going to be a little loop, you can leave that for now. Then you're just going to continue on. This is the same motion the whole time. This is it. This is all we're doing. This is where it's safe. You don't want your, you don't want to be pulling too tight, your fingers should be nice and loose, be able to move. Um, you don't want it too loose because then your loops will end up inconsistent. So throughout this, I do recommend you pull it every time. So this time you can pull it. There's going to be maybe a little loop, a little knot, but no worries. You just pull it and it'll tie itself. And if this slips off, you just get your finger back in there. If something happens, you can just keep going because as you, the more you do it, the easier it'll get and you'll be able to figure out what you need to do which is basically just make sure you keep the tension consistent and you just keep pulling and wrapping around and going over so wrap around and over and so this takes about 20 minutes to make a good size teenage to adult lay so let's do this together
Now, you're gonna get your scissors, and you're gonna cut at least six inches six inches and you're gonna take them off your finger slowly but you're gonna go your pointer because this one goes up you're gonna go into it because you went into that one you're gonna go up this one because you went up in this one you're gonna go down in this one it's gonna be looking crazy but you just pull it and it'll tie itself. And there you have it. A finger lay. And if you don't have ribbon, it's okay. You can just go ahead and tie a bow. And you have a finger lay. Or if you have ribbon, just cut a small portion. And you can untie this bow, just make it into a knot, preferably a double knot. And then you can just go in and tie a bow. Then you can go ahead and cut these right off. And there you have it. A finger lay. Mahalo everyone for tuning in. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment, send us a DM or an email. I'm happy to help. And I hope you enjoy and practice making finger lace. Mahalo.